So to create the autocrat form with the, with the mail merge, I need two things. One is my autocrat form. And this is what the form looks like after I've created it. Obviously, if I go here to see what the live form looks like, that's it. The other thing that I have to have is the document. And this one here, you see here where it has the brackets around name, around favorite tool, and where it says uh, uh, you're wondering about what you can learn more. I'm going to go back into my autocrat form and I'm going to install the script autocrat. So I'm going to go to tools, script gallery, and I'm going to search autocrat. I've got two versions. I have a Spanish and an English. I'm going to install the English version. So right here where it says install. While I'm waiting on that, I'll kind of explain how this works. You send that form out to people that I just showed you, the live form, and they will input their data. Because it has a space for their email address, the way that we're going to set this up, whenever they hit submit, it will send them an email right away that has that mail merge form on it. Mm -hmm. Okay, and it is done now. So I'm going to click Authorize, and it gives me this window that says now you can run the script, so I just have to hit Close. I'm done with this window. Okay, now notice here now this information is in my window. It looks like it's in my window. It's actually in a new page. So if I click down here, Let me minimize this window or make it smaller. There we go. Right here where it says sheet one. Now you see my stuff again. Here's Autocrat. I've got to set that up. So I'm going to click on Autocrat. Remember that wasn't there before. And then I'm going to click run initial configuration. I need to select a template. I've already got that created. I'm going to go ahead and just choose this one, then hit select. Okay, now it says that I can save these settings. That's what I want to choose. Okay, right here it says select the sheet in the spreadsheet that contains your merged data, and it's sheet one. This is sheet one right here, so that's good. All I have to do is hit save. You guys may have just noticed, now you can't see it, but right behind here, there is a new field and it has a black tab at the top. Right here where it says field value time st stamp equals, right here where it says leave blank to ignore, that's what we're going to do. We're just going to leave that alone and hit submit. And then the next step is where we're going to start linking things up. Okay, so here are the, the pieces that were in that document that I created. Your name, four C's, and the new ideas. So your name goes to the question, what is your name? Whatever I had here in mind for the four C's, I want that to match up with what's your favorite Google tool. Notice there I just skipped what is your email address because I don't have to link that up to the document. For new ideas, what are you still wondering about? And then I hit Save Mappings. Now I want to trigger Merge on Form Submit. And if I want to keep a copy of these merged files, I would click right here to where I want to keep them. Always select New Merge Document Folder. 
it's going to create you a new folder. And then your file naming convention um, that this new document would be called, you can actually come up here and just type or just copy what's your name and you do want that dollar sign. Put a comma, space, and then what's your favorite Google tool so far? Just because that sounds fun. Click there, paste. So now, if I chose my fav favorite Google tool is Google Maps, this file is going to come to me say, that says, in a, uh, the name of the file is going to be Callista Google Maps. I want it to be a PDF instead of a Google Doc. And then I want to email, recipient email, right up here. What is your email address? Copying, paste it in, email subject. I'm going to put what's your favorite Google tool so far and I don't have to copy this. I could just type that in there. Short note, thanks for participating in the survey. And then I hit save settings. Okay. If I hit run merge now, it's going to come back and tell me that it can't because I don't have any data in this form. I'm going to go ahead and click it anyway. See, because I don't have anything, so I hit OK. Now, if I go back out, go to the live form, type in my name. hit submit and I could go ahead and continue with my responses but I'm done I want to go to preview and run merge run the merge now notice it's taking longer this time and it, it tells me it successfully completed one record and then right here is basically my receipt that it went through. If I were to go back in and check my email now, I would have that right there.